Edie Comparato, a community-minded board member of the Boca Raton Museum of Art, with the support of her husband, Anthony Comparato, founder and CEO of First United Bank, founded the Woman Volunteer of the Year Luncheon in 1988. In that year, Edie co-chaired the first Woman Volunteer of the Year Luncheon with Pat Topple at the Boca Raton Museum of Art on West Palmetto Park Road, where there was approximately 125 people in attendance. The Woman Volunteer of the Year Awards delivered in the luncheon's first three years included in 1988 Rita Hobbs, nominated by the American Red Cross. In 1989, Ruth McGoldrick, nominated by the Debbie Rand Memorial Service League. And in 1990, Jamie Snyder, nominated by the Junior League of Boca Raton. In 1988, Warren Orlando, President of First United Bank and Woman Volunteer of the Year Award Sponsor, articulated the mission of the Woman Volunteer of the Year Luncheon, which is recognizing volunteers for the work and the heart and the soul that they contributed to help the community and give back. In its inception, and for the next three years, the Boca Raton Museum of Art was the beneficiary of the luncheon, and the nonprofit and the volunteer community embraced the Woman Volunteer of the Year luncheon and its mission to celebrate volunteerism. In 1990, Edie and Warren looked for an organization that would be able to staff and support the outstanding growth of Woman Volunteer of the Year while honoring its mission, celebrating the importance of volunteerism in the community. At that time, Warren connected Edie with the Junior League of Boca Raton. Together, they asked the organization for a proposal to take the reins of this exciting event. Upon review and subsequent meetings, the partnership was formed and the Junior League of Boca Raton became the new host of Woman Volunteer of the Year. This partnership was a tremendous fit as it represents the three pillars of the Junior League of Boca Raton's mission statement. We are an organization of women committed to promoting volunteerism, developing the potential of women, and improving the community through effective action and leadership of trained volunteers. Our mission continues to be exclusively educational and charitable. In 1991, Susan Saxton was president of the Junior League of Boca Raton. Carol Putman was the first Junior League Chair of Woman Volunteer of the Year, and Edie was the first Honorary Chair. The first award winner that year was Peggy McCall, nominated by the Boca Raton Historical Society. The event held at the Boca Raton Resort and Club in their Great Hall grew in popularity, and by the third year that the Junior League hosted the event, its attendance reached 500 guests. Over the next 32 years, the Woman Volunteer of the Year Award Luncheon continued to honor selfless and generous nominees. In 2009, we developed a new partnership with the Boca Raton Regional Hospital Foundation as our award sponsor, who is also committed to the mission that volunteerism creates healthy communities. This year, the Woman Volunteer of the Year Luncheon, in its 33rd anniversary, is taking a pause for a commemorative look at the last 32 years of celebrating women volunteers. Once again, we honor, recognize, and celebrate the 685 nominees who have been nominated over the last 32 years. 170 nonprofits have participated in honoring and celebrating their Woman Volunteer of the Year during this time. Nonprofit organizations working to improve the health and wellness, education, safety and security, arts, environment, children and families, and food insecurities brought forth their most treasured volunteers to be recognized and thanked at the Woman Volunteer of the Year Award Luncheon. Since its inception, the event has grown to include several different sub-events in addition to the luncheon. A tea, a unique shopping event, a photography day, a nominee's luncheon, the honorary chair's reception, and of course, the Woman Volunteer of the Year Award Luncheon and Fashion Show, presented by our fashion show partner, Saks Fifth Avenue, Boca Raton. Each of these events were intended to spotlight the nominees and honor their work to make our community better and brighter. On the day of the luncheon, nominees often bring their family and friends to join them in the celebration. The event shares the importance of volunteerism in our community. 
in our nonprofit organizations and the impact it has on each of the lives of the nominees. It reminds us of the value and importance of volunteers and their impact on our community. Behind every successfully organized event and mission, there is an extraordinary volunteer team. Countless goals have been achieved thanks to their selfless volunteer work. Volunteers change the world and the Junior League is forever grateful to host an event that elevates our mission and celebrates their impact. We would like to take this time again today to thank you, our community's amazing volunteers, for continuing to be an example and making a difference in our community. It is an incredible honor, an extraordinary accomplishment for a volunteer to be nominated to represent their nonprofit as their Woman Volunteer of the Year nominee. It allows the nonprofit to showcase and share their mission with the community, as well as the story of their nominee's impact on that mission. In this year of the pandemic, it continues to be even more crucial to recognize selfless individuals for their commitment, work, and passion for improving our community. Volunteerism continues to be a great act of kindness. It involves caring, loving, and sharing a volunteer's time, heart, and soul for the betterment of someone else. The Woman Volunteer of the Year nominee's example and volunteerism continue to be the backbone and the heart of our community. And with that, the Junior League of Boca Raton salutes you, honors you, and loves you. Thank you again for all that you have done and continue to do.